Hello there, and welcome to Agadir, Morocco. This is where we're spending our uh, summer holiday. So I thought I'd make a limited uh, YouTube series out of it. So uh, this is part one of it. Welcome to Mabas in Morocco. So after getting off the plane at Agadir Airport and taking a coach, we get to the hotel that will be our home for the next week or so, the Rue Palace, Takeda Agudia. This is a five-star platinum hotel situated in Agadir with a sizeable lobby, along with beautiful balcony and lounge areas that are a wonderful place to spend a relaxing evening. The hotel features a large pool area with numerous bars dotted around it. They are plenty of seating areas, so although I normally got there a little early to reserve a couple of sun loungers, the truth is, is that all week we never really had a problem trying to find somewhere to sit when we were having a morning or an afternoon session by the pool. The hotel has a sizeable garden and has a number of on-site facilities, including a spa and even a small gym, if you feel like working off some of the breakfast you had earlier. Speaking of which, this is an all-inclusive hotel with sizeable dining areas for breakfast, lunch and dinner. There's also a couple of separate restaurants on-site that are fusion and Moroccan themed. Drinks are also all inclusive, uh, there's plenty of uh, cocktails, the soft drinks, but there's only one beer that they serve here, a lager called Special Flag, which comes from the uh, Brasseries et Glaciers Internationales, a microbrewery based in France. It's not bad, after a couple of these I really started to get a taste for it. I'll probably cover this in more depth for a future episode of Beer Club. Hotel staff were extremely friendly and helpful, although some of my favourite members of staff were probably the resident local rat catchers. The hotel is situated in an excellent location as it is literally on the doorstep of the beach and promenade as well. Getting that sea breeze was very welcoming during those warm afternoons. So let's come out of the hotel and go for a walk where I can give you a bit of a history lesson. Agadir is a city along Morocco's southern Atlantic coast in the foothills of the Anti Atlas Mountains. It is a resort destination well known for its golf courses, five star hotels, its wide crescent beach which stretches out over 10 kilometers and its fine seaside promenade lined with cafes, restaurants and bars. The promenade makes for a wonderful walk along the seafront both during the day and on an evening. And there's even a McDonald's here in case you've got the kids with you and that all inclusive breakfast wasn't enough for them. Agadir was the premier sardine port in the world during the 1980s and still to this day has a sizeable harbour with numerous boat rides being offered to tourists including a pirate ship. 
Agadir's climate is 340 days of sunshine per year, which allows for swimming all year round. The winter is warm, and in summer, haze is common. Agadir's hilltop Kasbah was destroyed in an earthquake on the 29th of February 1960, but its original wall remains standing. Three languages are spoken in the city. Tashilhit, Moroccan Arabic and French. The hill bears the inscription in Arabic, God, Country, King, which is illuminated at night along with the walls of the Kasbah. We will be paying a visit to the Kasbah in our next video via the new cable cars that were recently built in Agadir, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our playlist to see more of our adventures in Morocco and other travel related content. And we will see you again next time.